Good day to all and welcome to this online course. In this first module, we will conduct an overview of the principles of breaking electrical circuits. Produced by Zensel Automation in collaboration with Hydro Quebec. Goals of this module, at the end of this module, the participant will be able to understand the principle of the ICUS synchronous command. Lesson 3, the ICUS synchronous command. What is the principle of the ICUS synchronous command? Example of a breaker opening on an inductance to ground. Example of a breaker closing on an inductance. What is the principle of the ICUS synchronous command? ICUS is a French acronym, meaning synchronous order command interface. It is a controlled switching device that sends an open or close command to the circuit breaker to synchronize its operation. ICUS is used only during controlled operations, which means during intentional operations. It does not intervene during protection operations such as breaking a short circuit. ICUS is also used on other devices such as shunt coils, capacitor banks and some transformers at 315 and 735,000 volts on opening. ICUS avoids resetting the breaker. On closing, ICUS limits high in rush currents. It is an interesting alternative to eliminating certain pre-insertion contacts. Example of a breaker opening on an inductance to ground. The controlled opening of a shunt inductance avoids relighting the breaker. A relighting occurs when the dielectric properties between the contacts of the breaker on an attempt to break on zero current is too weak compared to the voltage present. To avoid this situation, the opening of the contacts is set to obtain an arc time time between the start of the mechanical opening of the contacts and the zero crossing of the current, on the order of 5 to 6 milliseconds depending on the breaker specifications. In some applications for an inductance to ground, the reference to detect the zero crossing is the current on phase A on the negative slope of the signal. The target angles for each phase, relative to the reference signal, is 180 on phase A, 300 on phase B and 240 degrees on phase C. Thus, using the opening times, the arcing times and the target angles, the relay calculates the needed delay before sending the opening commands on each breaker phase. Example of a breaker closing on an inductance. Several strategies may be programmed to achieve a controlled closing operation according to the disruptions we wish to avoid. Maximum voltage to avoid current asymmetry, zero voltage to reduce electrical stress in the inductance, intermediate voltage value to avoid extreme cases of dielectric and mechanical constraints. One strategy is to close each phase in order to establish the beginning of electrical conduction, beginning of the electrical arc, at the point where its voltage is equal to half its peak value. Since there is no current flowing in the inductance before the breaker closes, the reference signal is the voltage on phase A, zero voltage on the negative slope of the signal. Thus, from the closing times, the pre-arc times and the target angles, the relay calculates the necessary delay before sending the close commands for each of the breaker's phases. Question Lesson 3 in which case is the ICUS command used A, intentional operations, B, transient short circuit, C, permanent short circuit? The correct answer is A, intentional operations.